Welcome friends, it is Friday, so we're doing another Pizza of the Week, and this week our friend Ryan at Grill Top Experience sent us this challenge. Welcome to my backyard. I'm Ryan from the Grill Top Experience, and I can help you be a hero at your next barbecue. Glenn and Julie challenged me to make their Nutella mascarpone pizza out on the grill, and I even added the ingredient that they forgot, and that was some toasted marshmallows. If you love Glenn's pizza videos, but don't have a wood-fired oven in your backyard, I've got you covered. If you have a grill, I've probably cooked beets on it, can show you how to do it. Back to you, Glenn. So I say challenge accepted, Ryan. Um, for those of you who have just come over from Ryan's channel, hi, I'm Glenn, this is Glenn and Friends Cooking, and we do a weekly series on pizza of the week, where we make pizza in our wood-fired oven in the backyard. And so I'm using our 72-hour pizza dough recipe, and I'll link to that in the description. And I'm just shaping that out here on the board. Nothing fancy. And I'm just using my fingers to dimple the dough and spread it out. And then we pick it up. And as soon as I pick it up, it pretty much stretches itself. So onto the pizza peel. And you just try to get it round if you can. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect. And on with some sauce. And so red sauce all the way up to the edges. And then Ryan wants us to use hot Italian sausage, which I've made into little meatballs because I kind of like little meatballs on my pizza. Now, thinly sliced serrano chili peppers. Uh, this is going to be hot. And then there's, there's no cheese. So the next thing that goes on are caramelized onions. And this is the caramelized onion jam. Spread that out over the top. Now the pizza oven is already prepped. I got the fire going. I swept the coals out to one side. And we are ready to go. and into the oven. And we finish it with a little drizzle of honey. Is this Ryan's pizza? This is the challenge pizza. The honey throws me. I'm not really sure what to expect, but uh, I'm excited. I think the honey's gonna be really good. I think the sweetness from the onions uh, will be fantastic. Now, I, I trust Ryan. I'm gonna do a video about the onions because these just aren't caramelized onions. There's a little bit of beer and some vinegar in there. It's almost a caramelized onion jam. Wow. Um, I'm kind of excited. So let's cut this up and see what happens. Should I do six or four? Six. Let's do six. Let's do six. Well, not my six. We all know what happens when I start cutting the pizza unsupervised. Okay. It's a tiny piece, it's a big piece. There we go. Oh. Mm hmm. Sweet, spicy from the sausage and the serrano peppers. The onion really brings that savory. Yeah. It's a bit drippy, it but is that's a okay, that makes it fun. Now, when I looked at this, there was no cheese, and I thought, there's no cheese. And Julie mm -mm. said to me... Not all pizza has cheese, Glenn. And it doesn't need cheese. Mm -mm. No. Yeah, this is a... Uh... This was a keeper. Now that you've watched us make this pizza... Head on over to Ryan's channel, Grill Top Experience, and check out the pizza that he's making. I'll put all of the links in the description box below. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon. Mm -hmm. Really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.